Hi there, I hope you're staying safe and healthy, happy and sound. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm so excited to share with you what's in my travel skincare bag as well as my nighttime skincare routine for when I'm out on the road. I'm excited to share with you all of these products that I love to bring with me because they're my tried and true and no matter where I go, I know that they won't break me out, they'll keep my face clean and at bay. Just because when I'm traveling, I love to be mindful about the climate, pollution, if there's any. And sometimes when you're in the middle of traveling, it can be pretty stressful as well, which can cause breakouts. And I also take into account when my period or what part of my cycle I am in. So if I know that my period's coming, for example, I will bring my Mirag spot treatment. I did bring it this time around because it's not that time of the month for me, but when I am coming into that time of the month, I am very mindful of what other products I use just because I know how my skin works. So if you have normal to combination skin and you kind of deal with some dry patches like me, then these are the best skincare products that you should carry in your travel skincare bag. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my travel skincare bag. It's pretty beaten up. I've had it for, I want to say, three years now. This is by Paravel. This is their small vanity case. I've brought this with me everywhere. I've also been traveling with their carry-on luggage for three years now. Paravel is definitely my tried and true when it comes to travel gear just because their products are so well made. Like this thing has really been through a lot. Like there's tons of stains on it and I've had to like wipe it down a couple of times because sometimes some products opened while I was on a flight or like they bursted. So definitely have been through hell and back with this. And I don't find myself replacing it anytime soon. This is really like my go-to and it fits everything I need. Love this. I'll have everything linked down below in case you wanna shop. So since the beginning of the year, Inbar & Co has been my favorite skincare brand. It's so amazing. Every single product smells so delightful. I love all the ingredients that they use. It's organic, it's natural, it's, a, it's all sustainably made. Their packaging is also very aesthetic. They all come in these aluminum tubes and they're kind of like those vintage toothpaste tubes. While I'm using the products, I like to just roll as I go so that I'm really getting every single drop of their products. So I like to carry their Gentle Cleanser. This is an oil, milk, face wash, makeup remover. It's a gentle yet thorough spa cleanser that delicately but effectively gets everything off from makeup to the dirt and grime and sebum and everything else that just builds up through the day. This really takes everything off. I love that it has an oil to milky texture and when you're gliding it on your skin, it just feels so good. You're not like tugging at your skin. You don't feel like you're drying out your skin because there are some cleansers where when I'm using it, I find myself feeling my like my skin is tightening up and then when I dry it, it immediately like tightens up and I don't get that feeling with this. My skin still feels super supple and super soft and very glowy as well. So I love this cleanser so much. This, another product from Inbar & Co that I like to carry is the Radiance Mask. This is a BHA and clay exfoliant. I like to grab a thin layer and just slather it all over my face. And I let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I come back to the bathroom. I wash my hands and then wet my hands. And then I just rub it all in just to further exfoliate my skin. And then I wash it all off. And then I'll use the Clarify Serum and or the Hydrate Serum. So these, you can also use these as masks if you want. So like when I'm on my period, for example, I like to use the Clarify Serum as a leave-in mask. So what I'll do is I'll get a thick layer, slather it on, and then I wait 10 to 15 minutes, and then I rub it all in. I don't wash it off like I would with the Radiance Mask. The same can go for the Hydrate Serum as well. I haven't actually done that yet, but I have used this as a mask at the spa. So I also have a spa. It is the best spa ever. It is located in Corte Madera in Marin County. It's called Residence, and I just love their spa. I love the overall ambiance of it. I love how like intimate and small it is and it's just such a pleasant experience every time i go so if you live in the bay area i recommend going to their spa so you can try these products for yourself and indulge in the services that they offer and then just see why i love this brand and their spa so much 
One of my favorite products from them is the, well, I love every single product that I have from them, but this is something that I discovered just recently. This is their recovery cream. It soothes reactive skin and it has 1% organic CBD and go-to cola. This is so nice. One thing about me is I am allergic to dairy and I have eczema prone skin. So if I have too much wine, which aggravates my eczema, and then I have that in conjunction with dairy, so like wine and charcuterie boards, sometimes my eczema will flare up. And as you can tell, it's kind of flaring up here, but I don't itch it. I just know when it's coming, I don't touch it, and I just put this on and move on with my life. This one really keeps it at bay. I don't need to use any steroids to stop the itching. I'm not saying that this is perfect for those with eczema or anything, but if you do suffer from it, I do suggest using this. It's absolutely perfect and it keeps my skin so soft all night i love it it's like a thick cream too it really acts as a barrier between your skin and the outside environment another thing that i brought with me was the dime bot dime boosting body serum this contains ceramides and niacinamide love this serum as soon as i get out of the shower and my pat and i pat my body dry I slather this all over. I use one pump per arm, two pumps for my chest and my stomach, and then I do one pump per leg. I love this so much. It really keeps my skin so soft and so supple and so glowy and so healthy and very radiant. I This is my second bottle of this and I honestly am so grateful that this product exists because your face isn't the only region of your body that you should only be applying serums to. I believe we should be applying scalp serums, body serums, and as much serums as possible because it is the most concentrated liquid that you can put on your body before you slather on moisturizers. And it just works so beautifully on the skin. I recommend this body serum, but obviously there are so many on the market. So definitely recommend shopping around, seeing what works for you. I love this because it has no scent and it's just my tried and true. I brought this with me to Europe last summer and it just kept my skin looking so good. And also when your skin is super moisturized, it also holds on to your perfumes really well. Like your perfumes will last all day because it has something to grip onto. Speaking of perfumes, I brought my custom made perfume. I custom made this at my girlfriend's event in downtown Campbell two months ago. It smells so good. I honestly cannot tell you everything that's in it, but I know that there's star of anise, patchouli, I think maybe vanilla, but I know patchouli and star of anise was like the star of the show for this scent. And also it kind of has like a cinnamon scent to it as well. I was really inspired by Humboldt, which is the best, my favorite place ever. So I wanted a perfume to make me feel like I'm in Humboldt. So I brought this with me. This is by the perfumery, I think. I will have the text here for what business you can go to and create your own perfume. The next thing that I bring with me, of course, is very important. This is the Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin with an SPF of 50 and vitamin C. It has a really nice glow to it, kind of like a very subtle tint. It's like a nude tint. I love applying this, especially on my no makeup makeup days. It doesn't leave a white cast and it lasts all day. I love to put it all over my face, my ears, and my neck, and then I'll also put a little bit on my chest as well. I also want to mention this for the makeup girlies out there because I do love to wear a lot of makeup. This doesn't make your makeup pill when you put it when you put it on top of the sunscreen, which is great. That's like a winning factor for me when it comes to finding sunscreens that work for me, as well as work with the makeup that I'm applying on. So safe to say, Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin is really good just by itself or underneath your makeup. Another thing that I brought with me is the Salt and Stone Lavender and Sage Deodorant. I've been using this deodorant for a couple of years now. This is probably my third or fourth deodorant stick from them. I absolutely love Salt and Stones down to their body washes, their lotions, their candles. I love their one candle, it's like a saffron something candle that smells delightful. But this is their Lavender Sage deodorant and it lasts all day. A lot of people have mixed feelings about natural deodorants. For me personally, it works for me. I don't sweat a lot, so it just makes me smell even better. And I love how it just has a really calming, relaxing scent. I grew up using Secret and Dove and it just makes my armpits, first of all, it um, aggravates my eczema and my armpits, but also it just always had like a superficial scent to it that I just 
absolutely hate it. It would make me so nauseous. So love this. I love that it's a natural scent, something you would find if you were to go outside and smell the air. This is what you would smell. So love this deodorant. I will forever keep purchasing this deodorant until they stop making it. Another thing that I bring with me is a gua sha. This is by L'Occitane. Um, you don't need to get a L'Occitane gua sha. Any gua sha will work. You could even use a spoon if you want. I love to use this just to chisel out my cheeks and my jawline as well as to get rid of any puffiness. Like I said, I drink a lot of wine. I'm always just out and about and socializing and I'm up really late at night and I have to wake up really early in the mornings so I really like to use a gua sha just to really make sure that I wake up not super puffy and not looking like a pancake so love a good gua sha moment it's also really good as well for knots so I get a lot of knots here because I do work a lot so um, this is really good for just getting rid of all the knots that are in your neck. Okay, so now that you've seen a glimpse into my skincare bag, now we're gonna use the products so you can see the products in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and we'll start off with a gentle cleanser. <laughs> Thank you. 